Hello everyone! In today's video, I've created a movement system for the Roblox FPS template. Before we start, thank you for all the support and suggestions. I really appreciate it. Creating a movement system for the Roblox FPS template wasn't easy, so consider subscribing to show your support. Now, in the description, you will find this uncopyleg template ready for you to use. However, if you'd like to know how to configure the movement system to your liking, the rest of this video explains just that. This template also comes with my aim system, so if you'd like to know how to use that, you should watch my original video on the aim system. The only script that you'll need to modify is the constants module located in replicate storage, blaster, constants. Inside the constants module, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the humanoid section. Everything under this section is related to the movement system. Modifying most of these are optional. But the three things that you will need to modify are the animations seen here. You can use an animation spoofer to re-upload my animations, or you can create your own. The only thing you should know is if you're creating a crouching animation or a sliding animation, make sure the character is at least two studs from the ground before you publish, because otherwise the animations will clip through the floor. After you've re-uploaded or created your own animations, replace the animation IDs accordingly. The last thing that you'll need to know is how to adjust the view model's location while running. Go to Replicate Storage, Blaster, Scripts, Viewmodel Controller, then go to line 107. Currently, when the player runs, the gun will aim upwards. Though, if you'd like for the gun to be in a holster position when the player is running, click in front of Sway CF and add two dashes. Then, go to line 109 and go in front of Sway CF and get rid of the two dashes. Now, you're all set. I've put it back to the way it was. Let's playtest. As you can see, when the player holds left shift, the player will begin to run and the weapon will aim upward. When we try to aim while running, the player stops running and the view model goes to the aim pause. Then, when we stop aiming, the player begins to run again. If we hold C, the player will begin to crouch. And lastly, if we run and crouch, the player slides. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and commenting down below your video suggestions. Don't forget to vote in the weekly polls. Thanks for watching.